Hello guys, Bad Infos here and welcome to a new GTA Mayhem challenge. This one is in GTA San Andreas and I have a question. Zandi XV, what the hell were you thinking? This challenge is huge, it's also difficult. So thank you so much for this challenge Zandi, it was awesome, I had so much fun with it. Let's start the challenge in 3, 2, 1. Go challenge accepted. This challenge was originally gonna be a live recording. I set up my camera even to be with a camera. I said, ah, this challenge is long, sure, but it doesn't look that difficult. It looks pretty easy, I'm gonna do it the first attempt. But you know what happened? I had maybe 10 attempts and I said, ah, screw you, challenge, screw you so much, I'm not gonna record you live. So I stopped recording and I beat it from my second attempt afterwards. So yeah, this was gonna be something different, but it turned out to be this. And apologies, I know you guys prefer live recordings. But it's not gonna happen with this one. So Zandi had a different name before and when he submitted the challenge he was with a different name. It took me a while to find his comment because I was searching for a different name, so... Yeah. Sometimes... People change their challenge, uh, their YouTube name, and it's kind of bothersome to me because it takes a while for me to find the proper name, but what can you do? It's okay, I found his challenge, and I did it, and this hopefully is gonna be a good video, I think it is. The challenge is awesome, and uh, do you see, did you see how many steps it has? None of the steps are broken, guys, not one is broken, what the heck, man? That's nuts. Usually challenges are completely broken. The majority of the time, but this one has so many steps and not a single one is broken, dudes. So I guess uh, the first this step is to get three stars. And this is actually, I think, the hardest challenge, uh, the hardest step. Because sometimes they pop my tire, sometimes they shoot the car way too much and explode it. Because going to the airport is a pretty long drive and my car is pretty crap. As you can see, they have one blockade and I'm completely boned. <laughs> Luckily I survived, I don't know how I survived this, but I did. As you can see, I took so much damage. Way too much damage. Oh, and also apologies if you hear something in the background. My neighbors are doing construction. Nothing new there, but it's a little bit louder today, so hopefully you won't hear it. I'll try to talk closer to the microphone, but um, I may have to stop also the, the voice, my voice, in a little bit. So you don't have to hear their shenanigans. Okay, so for this step, this step was actually very creative. I have never seen this before. You have to let the police, or themselves, Kill themselves, you cannot kill your homies. You have to wait for the police to kill them or a car explodes next to them or something like that. That's super creative and it's a good thing it's at 3 stars because if it was at 4 stars it would be way too mayhem E. So yeah this step actually took me a while but I did actually do it. They killed themselves these dummies. So I had the idea that since they're gonna shoot at the cops, since they're witch, they would shoot at the cops, right? Oh, this is GTA San Andreas. <laughs> Guys, if you hear that, you know that it's gonna be a broken feature, because GTA San Andreas is a broken ass game. It's one of the most broken games ever. The AI is broken, uh, so many things are broken. So, they're not gonna move, look at that, they're stuck in place. And yes, I was pressing the G button for them to come to me, but no. They were not doing anything. This dude just jumps. This guy got out for some reason. I don't know what's going on. This game just likes to do this stuff. So I had the idea that I'm gonna stay here in the police car. The helicopter is gonna shoot at me. I'm gonna get out. And after I run away, it's gonna explode on their faces. Well, this is a actually worked, <laughs> yeah it worked, it's a great idea, this guy got hurt too, and I was expecting them to shoot the cops and the cops to shoot back, 
Unfortunately, this guy has a Desert Ego, it's a one-shot kill, so if he shoots somebody, he's gonna just kill him instantly. So that made this a little bit difficult. He got in my car, and I said to myself, okay, I can repeat this again, once again. I'll just stay in the car, and the, the helicopter is gonna shoot at me. Not the car, but the van, the, the truck. And I'll also block the gate, like this. I'm also honking right now, if you press the honk button, nobody's gonna bother you. Hi, <laughs> he killed him. But yeah, this actually worked. I know, I was thinking on the spot here. This was a difficult challenge. And I had to think on the spot. New stuff which I have never done before, that's why I love this challenge, because it's new! Yep, he killed, I was making sure that he was dead, because he did not show the bar on the left of the bar of the homies, you know, if somebody, if some homie dies, you can see a little bar of gang strength on the left, and there was nothing like this. Now this challenge is 36-37 minutes long, it's one of the longest challenges ever. And I had to shorten it, because I don't want the video to be huge. I want it to be 30 minutes, not more than that. So I increased the speed of some clips and some others I did not. If something important happens, something interesting... Oh, that looks like a penis! I never saw that! Do you see the building? It looks like a penis. Yeah, if something interesting happens, I... Don't skip it, I mean, I don't uh, speed it up. If it is interesting, I slow it down and uh, do it the normal way. As, as you saw, nothing interesting happened there, so I sped it up. Now, the idea here was to go underneath the bridges and make the, the Hydra crash. But the stupid Hydra shot at me, <laughs> and that sucked. So now I'm super damaged and I have to fly all the way to the desert airport and on the way this hydra is gonna chase me sometimes the hydra could crash and i i would be home free i would uh, be free to do whatever it's not gonna go after me but this time the whole way to the airport it was behind me it was constantly shooting me which made this a lot harder than it should have because of one more shot, one more shot and I'm dead, I'm just dead. If I jump off, I'm gonna fall to the ground and I have to fly to the abandoned airport so I cannot leave this plane, I have to be with it to the desert airport, so yeah, if they shot me, if it shoot me one more time, you stupid hydra! Fuck you! If it shoots me again, I'm dead. I'm just dead. And the challenge is over. Even if I don't die, the challenge is over because I have to fly too the airport. Okay, the step is cool. Lots of creative steps. This one is not that creative because it has been in many other challenges. Okay, it shot me, but I flew to it and I have no idea how I didn't die. Now, usually if you fall off somewhere and it activates your parachute, it just activates it and if you activate it and you don't open it, you just die. But this time, I don't know, it didn't activate, I didn't die, which is good. Okay, so I have to get 5 stars, the best place is on this, on the hangar. I just gotta get 5 stars and afterwards I have to kill, or sorry, destroy a helicopter with a jetpack, which is not as easy as you would think. Yeah, because you have to use an Uzi. Plop. And one more plop and uh, five stars. Okay. I have to destroy a helicopter with a jetpack. Why well, want a jetpack? That's a problematic because I have to use the Uzi. The Tech 9 was it? People always correct me on this. I know it's a. I think it's a Tech 9. Is it a Tech or Micro SMG? I don't know. I don't know how it got. I'm not a gun nut. I don't know my guns. I just know Uzi. I just know assault rifle, I just know sniper rifle, or just rifle, 
I know RPG. I know heat seeking RPG. I know minigun. And stuff like that. I don't uh, distinguish between M4 and M16. For me, there's no difference. They're good guns. I like these guns. I think in GTA 3 it's M16. And in GTA San Andreas it's M4. Pretty sure that's how it is. But uh, you can tell me. And this, guys, was lucky. Usually the helicopter is pretty close to me, but there was a hill there, so I made sure to fly around the hill so it doesn't bother me. Now this is also problematic. If you fly in this place, you get shot. If you are on a jetpack, if you get shot, you're gonna take some damage. Bam. My armor is done. It's just, it's just done for the earth, it's gone. So, I have to get a tank and do two vigilante missions, levels. Now, I have done this in previous challenges. So, nothing new here again. Some steps are like other challenges. I actually did this one semi recently. I think in this year I did it with the levels. But I think it's nice. The, the whole challenge itself is good. There's some interesting stuff, some new stuff. But lots of things are. Repeat it from before, which is fine. You can be extremely unique every single challenge you submit. And also, I, I actually counted all my challenges. Do you guys want to hear how many challenges I have? Okay, since I'm not doing anything particularly great right at the moment, I have nothing to talk about currently, but let's talk about the challenge. So, I have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 GTA game submissions. And the f so for GTA Advance, the first one, GTA Advance, I have 4 submissions. Now, I haven't played GTA Advance before. I'm searching for uh, armor here, by the way, as I'm talking. I have never done GT Advance, but when I do, I, when I complete the game, I'll do a Mayhem Challenge. And if you want to submit a challenge for GT Advance, do it now, because I have only four, and they might be too difficult or something, so... Submit stuff, and I might... There's a huge chance that I would do your challenge, because there's not much competition. For GT Challenge Time Wars, I have 11... Pretty low number, I have done only one Challenge Time Wars challenge before. I have 11 submissions. Now, most of these are extremely difficult, so I don't know if I can actually do them. So you can of course submit the, there too. For GTA 2 I have 4 submissions. I have not even read these submissions, because I have never played the game. So you can submit stuff there too, if I play it someday, I'll do a challenge. For GTA 3 I have 174 submissions. And some of these are very difficult, others are very easy, uh, and some others are normal. So I don't need submissions for that one, but of course you can submit and I could choose your challenge. But I have some awesome submissions for that game. For GTA 4 I have 58 submissions. Good number. Lots to choose from, but uh, many are broken completely, so I don't know exactly what they'll do there. But they'll do, I'll do some challenges, don't worry guys. On GT4 I haven't done a challenge in quite a while. I did one on the Battle of Gaetoni recently, but on GT4 the base game no I haven't done. So maybe the next one should be on GT4. We shall see. I think the next one's gonna be on Vice City Stories. Because I haven't done Vice City Stories one in, in a while too. Okay, so next is LCS. On so LCS I have 106 challenges. And uh, I think I had lots of green ones, some great ones. Green are the great ones, the ones which I would want to do. Okay, on GTA Online I have 10 submissions. Some people want me to do GTA Online, so should I do one? I guess I should, I'm not fond of the game, but some people want me to do a challenge and I, I could stomach 20 minutes of crap, <laughs> I guess. It will be okay. Okay, and here comes the big boy, GTA San Andreas, I have 465 submissions. If you submit a GTA San Andreas challenge, 
chances are I would never do this because there's so much competition I have to choose between 465. And honestly out of these only like 30 <laughs> are actually usable. Because there's lots of broken ones, the majority are broken, like maybe 80% of the submissions are broken and I can't do them. So please, when you submit challenges, just make sure it actually works. Test the challenge or read it, even read your submission. So yeah, I have lots of there, lots of these for this game, so chances are I would never pick your challenge if you uh, submit it. So submit on other games, because I do other games too. But uh, at the same time, I need the most challenges on GTA San Andreas because I do San Andreas every second challenge as a San Andreas challenge, so I need more submissions for that. And I do have more submissions for that, of that. So yeah, do whatever you want. And you can submit in the comment section, just make sure you read the rules in the description, they're very important. Then we have the Battle of Gaetoni, I have done one on this, on this game. Before I have 22 on this game, 22 submissions, and I have done one in the past, so meh, I think only 4 are usable currently. Also I, I made a mistake here, I'm waiting on the 1000 one, and I have 7000 cash. And before the game started, the, the video started, I made sure to lose all my cash, almost all my cash on horse racing. So when I come here, I would bet a million and I would lose lots of cash. Okay, so the, the, the challenge was to lose all my cash. And I did that. Okay, so where was I? The Battle of Gate Tony? Uh, 22 submissions. The, the Lost and Damned, I have 11 submissions, so way less. And I have never done the Battle of G the Lost and Damned uh, challenge before, so we can submit there too. Yeah. On GTA 5, I have 77 submissions. In GTA 4, it was 58. So, quite a bit more, and some are actually awesome. So, I'm not doing a GTA 5 challenge currently because I have the GTA 5 walkthrough going on currently. So, I don't see a point. There's gonna be too much GTA 5 content if I do GTA 5 challenge. So, I'm taking a little break from Mayhem Challenges in GTA 5. At least for half a year I'm gonna have a break for GTA 5 Mayhem Challenges, except if it's a, a winter challenge, because yes, I'm gonna do winter challenges next month. December is gonna be filled with winter Mayhem Challenges. All of uh, December and maybe a part of January is gonna have winter challenges. So watch out for these on GTA 3, Vice City, San Andreas, GTA 4 and GTA 5. Maybe not GTA 4, because I might, might is the keyword here, I might do a full playthrough with the winter mode on GTA 4 in January, yeah, maybe in January, so I might not do a GTA 4 Mayhem Challenge. We do intermod. We shall see. So the plan is: this month I'll have this and another mayhem challenge. Next month I'll have four or five mayhem challenges on winter mods. On five games or four games, depends on GTA 4. And in January the plan is to do a full playthrough of GTA 4 with the winter mod. That might not happen. It might happen. We shall see. Okay, so on GTA 5 I said 77, on GTA Vice City I have 251 submissions. Quite a bit. That's actually a big number and many of these are awesome. Absolutely incredible challenges. And I have no idea how this dude missed me. Seriously, I have no idea. This is a very difficult step, guys. I have to land and I have to take off afterwards. Do you have any idea how difficult this is? The landing part is okay. I mean, it's difficult, sure, but it's... It's okay. Taking off with tanks around, because they do spawn here, is difficult. 
Okay, so GTY is 3251. Lots of submissions. I don't need more submissions for that, but you can feel free to submit. And GTA Vice series stories, I have 73 almost as much as GTA 5. And uh, for this game, the challenges are very difficult. Also, this was a huge mistake. I should not have done that because it exploded right next to my plane. And it may have damaged it, but it didn't, I think. I, I don't think it did. But yeah, I have to get six stars. And the best way to, is to wait for planes. Uh, helicopters, sorry. And sometimes. They spawn above me. And that's very problematic <laughs> because I can't shoot upwards. So, yeah, guys, about the challenges uh, on GTA San Andreas, I have the most 465. On GTA Vice City, I have the second most, which is 251. And the third one is GTA 3, right? Yeah, GTA 3, 174. This is the most I have, so if you want to submit for these games, there's no point, honestly. But you feel free, of course, if you know these games the most, then feel free. Just <laughs> know that I might not choose your charge, because there's so many of them. I two challenges which are awesome, so make sure you read your own challenge before submitting it. And this step was actually a lot harder than I thought. I was not expecting this this steps to take me so long because I explored it like how many did I explore? Uh, ten? Uh, not ten. Probably like five at least. And I didn't get my stars. Why so broken? Okay, so shall I count how many exactly I have? I think I have uh, one hundred and uh, no one thousand in three hundred challenges. You can do the math. You can watch the video again. But yeah, it's about 1,250 or 300 challenges, which is quite a bit. I would say that out of all of these, 80% are broken. So that's kind of bad. I haven't read every single challenge yet. On GTA San Andreas, I read every single one and I categorized every single one. On GTA Vice City and GTA LCS, I did the same. For the rest of the game, so GTA 3 also categorized every single one, and the rest I haven't. I think on GTA 4 I categorized every single one. Not sure, but uh, I don't read every single challenge as it's submitted to me, I just wait. And uh, when I want to do a game, I usually categorize the games, the challenges, and I pick the best one. Well, it might not be the best one, it might look interesting, but sometimes it's completely broken and I have to try to figure that out. And uh, sometimes I lose my time because the challenge is broken and um, I'm attempting it. So this step was harder than you would think. So I have six stars. The cops are shooting at me. I have to find a car, a civilian car, it can't be a tank, it can't be a barracks, it can't be a police car, whatever. I have to find one on the street. This tank was right next to me, I was <laughs> losing my mind. And also, I had no idea that I had a bike in this garage. I had absolutely no idea. I was not expecting my house to be here even. I didn't look at the map and I got extremely lucky, guys. I have no idea how that happened. This was not planned. I just wanted to go to this village to lose the thing in the paint spray. However, however, I have no cash, guys. I lost my cash, so I'm forced to lose the cops with bribes. This was absolutely awesome, not planned at all, I was not expecting this to happen and it was amazing that it happened because it made it so much more difficult and so much more engaging, so I don't know, I like this challenge a lot, this surprise at the end really took it off as a great challenge because some steps honestly were... Mm, I have done it before, I have done many of these steps before, so it wasn't anything new, but it was well done. Good job, Zandi XV, you did a great job. 
And I hope you are doing well in life, in school or work, wherever you are. And stop changing your name, please. Because <laughs> I want you... Actually, you may not even watch anymore. I don't... It's so hard to find comments on people who change their names. Because if I search for a new name, all the old comments are not gonna appear. If I search for the old name, all the new comments are not gonna appear. And sometimes, even if you change your name, the new comments also don't appear if I type the new name in. So, the YouTube uh, search system on, uh, on videos and comments is a little bit broken. They might fix it in the future, but I hate it when people change their names. <laughs> so, Zandi, good job. You were awesome. And you guys can also submit uh, challenges on any GTA game. Just uh, bear that in mind that uh, I have the most in GTA San Andreas, GTA 3 and GTA Vice City, so if you submit there, I would probably never do your challenge. I wish I could. Think about it a little bit. I have 1300. If I do one a day, one a day, it will take me four, four years, about four years, let's say four years. One a day. Four years to do all challenges. In those four years, I would get that many more, 1,000 more submissions. So once I finish all of these, I have to do four more years to do the rest. You see how long it could take me, so I can't do every single one. And I do like 20 a, a year? It's not a very active series. I don't. I try not to upload it too much. Because... It looks too samey and stuff. So yeah, I have like 20 a year. Can you imagine how long it's gonna take me if I do all of these? And get no new submissions? 20 a year? That's how many? Oh, I can't... 100 years? Maybe. 100... No. No, not 100 years. Uh, let's say 50 years. It's gonna take me to do all of these. And in those 50 years I would get new submissions, so it's a never-ending cycle, guys. <laughs> yeah. I would never manage to do every single challenge. I can safely say that. And some people get angry at me. Please don't get angry, I can't do everything, I'm only human. I can't please every single person. I would love to do every single challenge on of every single person. I can't. Sorry. Okay, so this is uh, the burglary mission. I never do this mission, so I was kind of confused where I can go, and I can go here. I'm gonna steal this, and I sped this whole thing up because nothing actually happens here, there's no cops, so... Mm, no need to watch the whole thing. I mean, you're watching the whole thing, but sped up. So for this mission to end, you have to uh, wait for the daylight to come. You have to get at least one item to complete the mission. I got one item and I was uh, dilly-dallying here. Just, just staying here until the timer runs out to finish the quest, the mission. And the timer is... 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bam! Mission complete. So I have to kill seven homies. Now these last two steps are completely useless in my opinion. But I did them anyway and I used the sniper to be different. I am three people, four people, good. I have to kill three more peeps. So yeah guys, thank you very much for the submission Zandi. It was a great submission, some steps were not that great. But still, good submission nonetheless. You took the time to submit it and I appreciate your effort. So thank you very much and thank you every single person for watching this video and you can submit your challenges in the comment section on any game you prefer. And last but not least, I would love to thank my lovely Patreon supporters. Vladas, Soup Smile, Alex Chavez, Max Robinson and everyone else listed on the screen. Thank you so much for the support.